Having an intelligence officer at the scene allows us to gather critical information. A simple post on social media or friending your neighbor on Facebook could be critical information for area police departments. Thank you for joining us tonight. In the middle of Wednesday's document dump from the North Dakota BCI, a report from a Fargo police officer outlines their duties the night officer Jason Mosier was killed. It shows police desperately searching social media for information on the shooter, Marcus Schumacher. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric finds out how valuable a Facebook search can be as tragedy unfolds. I immediately began searching Facebook for a possible Facebook profile of Schumacher. I immediately found a profile page belonging to Marcus Schumacher. He, quote, made a Facebook post during the standoff with officers. This report details how Officer Kingsit reached out to Facebook users who responded to Schumacher's post, desperately trying to see inside Schumacher's mind. So, you know, whether that's looking into social media sites, our, our criminal uh, record system here. Deputy Chief Joe Anderson says they wanted to know as much information about Schumacher as possible. What he was doing, what he was thinking that night. Had there been a post saying he was going to come out and start shooting. That's an example of, you know, of using social media to our advantage to try to figure out what's going on in the criminal mindset and, and, and try to make decisions. In this case, officers were trying to find out what type of weapons were being fired and how many there were. With virtually anyone in the world able to see what's being posted. Opponents out there that say that we're big brother and, and you know, and snooping on, on the citizens. But all it takes is one threat tweeted or posted and you could find yourself facing criminal charges. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. We have posted the full report on our website detailing how officers searched social media that night. To read it, go to valleynewslive.com and click on this story.